What's up guys? It's been a long time since we've shown you a Big Red update. And really there just hasn't been a lot going on with Big Red. Um, as you saw in the intro, I've been working on these wheels, trying to get them all painted, get them looking a little better, refreshed. Uh, when we bought the trailer over three years ago, I did the same thing. Probably didn't spend as much time as I should have, and now some of that paint's flaking off. So this time I decided I would do it right. Um, besides not taking the tires off, I'm trying to tape everything up and uh, get it all sanded down and cleaned up really nice. And then using Duplicolor uh, wheel paint, I think the last time I just used some random silver paint. Uh, so hopefully this will hold up a little bit better and maybe at some point during Big Red's life we can get some aluminum wheels on this thing and it's going to look awesome. Uh, along with that, we've got a hundred billion other things uh, going in. I'm trying to put these strips in in the ceiling, I'm trying to get that cleaned up a little bit. The ones we have now are kind of falling down and just don't look that great. Um, but anyway, we're just doing a lot of different things. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty random video. If this is your first time watching the channel, I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you're wondering what Big Red is, it's our 34-foot cargo trailer, and we built it about three years ago, a little more than that now, and it's been great for our family. Um, so yeah, you can start from the very beginning of our, of our YouTube career, I guess, and uh, check out all the videos. That'll give you a good history of Big Red and what we've done to it and how we use it as a family of five. Let's get started with all this work. Uh, cause we got a, we got a lot to do. got a disaster in here uh, we got a lot going on uh, in the bathroom we are painting the walls white because we added trim here uh, beside the toilet down below it to hide water lines um, and that was natural colored and I just thought it looked kind of strange even though this is natural colored uh, we went ahead and painted everything white originally this was whitewashed which I always kind of liked but really it doesn't look a whole lot different with it just white um we do have the door painted gray which that's always been like been that way and step in the shower we are working on doing the same to this door it's off and somewhere over there so we just need to come in and put some either trim or caulk this and sand it a little more but anyway that's what's going on in the bathroom this is the cover that goes over where the spring is on the door. Uh, on our last trip to the mountains, we had a strap break that holds uh, the bed. We have these rubber straps. We had some up top and the one on that side broke. And apparently the whole bed just started beating itself against this piece and it bent it all up. So I'm gonna have to uh, try to bend that back. I'm gonna have to take the bed down because it ended up breaking a piece down at the bottom, one of the mounts. So I gotta fix that. And really the bed doesn't look all that great. I'm gonna work on making this look better somehow. Not exactly sure how yet, but we're gonna figure something out.
All right, I think the bed is ready. Just need to paint it. Um, so what I found out actually happened was this board split all the way down to here. It's flipped upside down right now. But uh, that's actually what caused everything to break. The uh, hinges came, they were basically hanging on by like two bolts. So basically I just uh, doubled this board up I glued it on and added screws to uh, tie everything together. I went around the top and I added a few of these Craig bit or Craig screws. So now I just need to slap some paint on here and then we'll reinstall it in the camper. part of uh, YouTubing maybe is uh, actually filming what you're doing and I uh, filmed some of this building the uh, door and all but of course I forgot to film me actually putting it together anyway this is covering our electrical closet I feel much better now that it's closed off from the room not that this really thin board does a lot but at least it is closed off you can't see all that stuff back there in the bathroom, Ashley got the hooks mounted and all of these pieces in. Also, same on the other side. And we caulked the trim a little bit. Just need to get the shop back in here. Been doing some other work. Uh, and add a piece of trim here. And we'll be pretty much done in the bathroom. We also got the bed in. Uh, everything bolted up great. Got new straps up top on both sides. I think they're gonna be fine now that the board is fixed and it's not gonna move around a whole lot. So we just need to drop this down, put the mattress in, put the ceiling back together, and we should be good to go. A few more things to add to the list. Um, we have this remote for the GoWise inverter that we installed a long time ago. I've always just put it in this closet. Um, it's easy to get to and I always intended to run this up and over and down the uh, inside of the bathroom wall around here to the kitchen and in the kitchen this is where we have uh, this is a water pump and this is another set of lights um, but I want to put that inverter switch beside this and also, I have a battery monitor that I have mounted in the electrical closet. And it's really kind of useless in there. So I'm also going to put it in here um, somewhere. Uh, maybe the battery monitor up top. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I want to run those around here. So I'm going to go up and over. And then I'll go straight into that closet. And then I'll pull the wire from there. Uh, over the through the bathroom and then over that wall that goes into the kitchen and this is our battery switch that I'll be moving
I got everything wired into the rat's nest. I'll clean this up later. Uh, let's go around to the kitchen and see if our gauges are working. Okay, that's it. They're in. Um, pull this little cover off. I've left that on there for years. Now we can take it off. Looks good. So it does. It is backlit. Uh, you can press this button and turn it off. And our voltage is getting pretty low for uh, lithium batteries. So hopefully my charger will kick in. I need to go make sure I didn't unplug it. And then this is our inverter. So now we can just hold it right here. Turns everything on. When I unplug from um, shore power, the automatic transfer switch that's in that same closet will kick over to the inverter power and be good to go. Uh, the refrigerator will run on a long trip and anything else you plug in as long as you don't overload it. Alright, so I'm going around and uh, checking rivets and these two were, this one was completely gone, that one was loose. Uh, I've got a few more up here that are kind of crooked, they don't really feel loose but I may pull them out anyway. Look at this one, it's obviously extremely loose. So I'll take that one out and add, uh, put a new rivet in. And then I'm just gonna go down and check all of it. It looks like some of this trim, you can see how it's just kind of pulled out. So I'll drill those out. I'm gonna work on this trim a little. Uh, I had the reflective tape on here and I've pulled all that off. I'm trying to get all this adhesive off and then I'm gonna sand it and polish it, make it look nice and shiny. Got, uh, got the strips up in the ceiling. It is crazy humid today, uh, raining out and everything, but hopefully we'll get some cold weather soon. So anyway, uh, th this strip was like a factory deal, and I left that in when we took everything out to uh, add insulation. Uh, I just left those in place, and then I added these wood strips. Um, yesterday, I added one up front. <laughs> And I painted it before I put it in, which was probably a smart thing to do. Um, I didn't do that on this one, or these three, four. Yeah, these four. So, uh, I'm just trying to decide if I should take these back down, paint them, then put them back up, or just paint them in place and maybe touch up the rest of the ceiling, because we've got some, we've got some ugly spots up here. It's going to need to... It's gonna need some attention anyway. I'll probably end up doing that. Really hate painting, but uh, you know, if we're gonna make it look decent, <laughs> something I gotta do. So I guess we'll get to that. Oh boy. <laughs> ceilings painted that was a pain in the butt 
I knew it would be. Uh, now I'm just gonna put a few finishing touches around this countertop and in the bathroom. And I never got all the trim outside polished up like I wanted it, but eventually I'll get that as well. I believe that's about it for this update. Um, hopefully we'll have another one pretty soon, but we'll see. I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll catch you guys next time.